there welcome back to my channel okay so today we have some nail art for you um, so first off I have two coats of Sally Hansen um, and this one is called sea green and um, I haven't done a top coat or anything um, but what I want to do is I want to add some shimmer to it so what I I've got going on is I've taken some shimmer shimmer pearl nail art this is the green pearlescent shimmer I don't know I'm kind of into the um, I don't know, shiny shiny sparkly designs so basically put some on to my palette and then I am taking my Pro FX Sticky Base Coat. So I'm just going to paint my nails with it. I had done my thumb just to kind of try it out, make sure it looked okay. And it did. I'm going to quickly paint them all. And then I am using, it's like a tweezer pinching tool. I got this from Maniology. Um, I love this thing. It's super, super awesome. And don't forget to use my discount code if you order. So, basically, and I've used... Um, I save like the little pieces of makeup sponge from when I'm doing like gradients and that kind of thing. Just because, you know, don't waste stuff. I try and squeeze every little drop out of, out of them if I can. So going through and doing all the nails so they're all nice and sparkly. I don't know. I put fairy dust on this hand. I've been into a sparkling mood. I was going to do fairy dust again and I thought, you know what? No. Let's try something different. And I haven't used, I don't think I've used this screen. I probably just swatched it. I don't think I actually used it. But, um, yeah, it's actually really, I don't know if you can see it, but it's quite gorgeous. Okay. And then to clean off the, the palette, you can use um, isopropyl alcohol or rinse it under the sink um, with um, water, like soap and water. And, uh, yeah. Okay. So now... I'm just going to grab some of my posh top coat. And we're going to top coat these. Because after this, we're going to do some stamping. Okay, so I am going to let these dry and then I will come back. One moment. Okay, so I'm back and it is dry. And I cleaned up around the edges a little bit using some isopropyl alcohol. Um, but I'm not worrying about it too, too much because now I am going to stamp. Um, I'm going to use this stamping plate. Uh, this is uh, one of the ones that I got off of Amazon Canada. It came in a template set. This one is OM-DO2. I'll leave the link for this down below if you this set if you'd like to check it out. And um, and it's on my DIY uh, stamping plate um, backer that I made. I'll link that video down below 
or somewhere, you know, on the screen. So you can check it out. So, um, yeah, so for my Facebook group um, this week, we're, it's um, ice cream for our weekly theme. So I figured I would try this plate out. So let's get started. Uh, let me grab my black. I think I have everything. Oh, just need to get my cotton claw ready. I think I'm good. So I got all my stampers. So I am going to do some reverse stamping because that's my favorite thing to do. So I'm going to have my little army of stampers going. So I got my nail stuff. I got my lantern and rand. I got my maniology. <laughs> all the stampers. So, okay. So I'm thinking... I'm going to do like maybe this image and then a few of these guys. Let's see how that goes. Scripper. Let's do this guy. Oh, pickup's pretty good. So which ice creams do I want? So do, do, do. I'm gonna do the ice cream cone because I do love ice cream cones. And I'm just gonna get rid of that image because it seemed a little side. Hmm. I think my cotton ball. Some of these plates I found are etched really well so they pick up the cotton ball. down. I'm going to do this guy because it's like a popsicle. My dog Daisy loves popsicles. I need five. <laughs> I didn't count very well, did I? So let's do this bowl of ice cream. That looks pretty yummy. And that's good. Okay, so let me get this stuff all put away and we'll color. Okay, one moment. Okay, so I have all my stampers already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fast forward this next little part 
of me coloring because you probably don't want to watch the whole thing. I mean, or you do want to watch it, but not in, not in real time because it gets kind of boring. So, okay. So stay tuned for coloring. So I'm back and everything should be dry. Just let them dry about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. So these are all of them. You know, it was a struggle trying to remember what color ice creams <laughs> to paint. So, but um, I think they're all super cute. 
So let's get down to applying them. So I'm thinking I'm going to put this guy on my thumb. Um, let's, first off, I'm just going to get these guys out of the way. And I'm going to put on some sticky base coat so I can apply these. So I guess Maniology is coming to come out with a sticky base coat. So, which is a good thing because whenever this one's gone, Walmart's not carrying this brand anymore. So I'll have to get that. I think I'm set for a while. I'm not, I think I'm at like three quarters of the bottle. Like it's it's about here on the bottle. So I'm good for a while. Okay. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that guy on my thumb. And I'm gonna put the tall guy. Well, oh, that'll fit on my middle for my index. The big ice cream there. Just trying to plan them out to see one nice thing. Oh, and then do short stubby guy because this guy's tall, long, and then that one there. So one nice thing about the clear stampers is you can figure out where you want to place them before you, because uh, you can see them. So let's, okay. Is this going to be a struggle putting that guy on? But everything else is really tall long. You know what I mean. <laughs> oh, oops. Hopefully you can see. So I just kind of hold and then rock it back and forth for a minute just to kind of make sure it adheres to my nail. So three. And this guy's going to be a struggle. Oh, I got it. Yay. Look. Those look cute. And then my thumb. So the only one that really needs some cleanup. Oh, I wasn't on camera, was I? I'm sorry. Oh crap. You know, I'm, just, I'm really good sometimes and then really bad others. So anyway, so this is the only one that really needs some cleanup. So what I'm going to do, let's see about going around the edges. I'm just cutting off. What's not going to stick. And that makes cleanup so much easier. Because the other ones all fit on my nail, which is awesome. take this is my elf concealer brush and I just take some acetone actually I don't really need to put it in a container because I don't have a lot to clean up just these couple little edges
So yeah, I just, I'm dipping it directly into the bottle. I know I probably shouldn't do that, but I've lost a brush that way once. It wasn't fun. Okay, so next step would be to grab my Maniology No Smudge Top Coat. Last thing I want to do is smear all my hard work. So doing reverse sampling is pretty good, um, especially if sometimes like I don't always, I'm not able to apply them right away. So I will do them and then in you know let them dry or whatever maybe I might go eat dinner and then when I come back they're all ready to go so, so that uh, I really like it my husband still thinks I'm cheating making doing reverse stamping he thinks everything should be free-handed but he actually did admit the other day that it wasn't easy to stamp, which I thought was awesome. Like that was a, a good step for him. Okay, so there we have it. My ice cream. That's kind of cute. Let's we'll see if we can go this way. My lights are in their best right now. It's getting dark. So there we go. So, if you are not following me, please subscribe, it's always free, and um, check me out on Instagram as well, and don't forget to hit that bell, and switch it to all, and um, yeah, stay tuned for swatch photos, and thank you for joining me today, I hope you're having a great day, okay?